Here's a quick overview of the weapons and loadouts for Tribes 3 Rivals. The game is divided into three weight classes, light, medium, and heavy, and is subdivided into offense and defense. Within those loadouts, there is also a little bit of variation of weapons. So let's go over those real quick. So, for light, we have the light spin fuser and the bolt launcher. The spin fuser is a explosive disc. It's not a rocket. It's an important distinction for us, please. The bolt launcher is basically the same thing, a little faster and has an arc. Then we have for the second weapon slot, we have the light chain gun and the phase rifle. The chain gun being, by the way, in this game there's no hit scan. Everything is projectile, so the bullet weapons are two, including the sniper rifle. So the chain gun, usually when you've hit someone with the spin fuser, they'll have a little bit of health left. You want to finish them off with the chain gun. With a phase rifle, it is a long distance sniper, very fast projectile, but still hitting people going fast is quite difficult, but a lot of damage um, depending on how much energy is spent. So it does drain the energy from your jetpack for firing this. Um, then we have the belt items, the impulse grenade, is a knockback grenade. It doesn't really do any damage, but it'll actually knock back enemies and also give you a little impulse yourself. Smoke grenade, right now covers a large area with smoke. Usually you want to impulse grenade. That's the thing. And for the packs, an ability, let's say, you have either the blink pack, which is a short range teleport. Very interesting if you're going for the flag and people have been doing some really crazy stuff with it. So that's that. Short range teleport, lots of shenanigans. The thrust pack, simple, you just go a little faster. That's always nice. And the stealth pack, a little controversial. You cloak for a bit, you can't take the flag while you're doing it, but you can indeed mask your approach. Currently banned in our competitive circles. Then, very important to say, the light offense is also known as the capper, the flag carrier, the flag capper. Why? Because of the Pathfinder perk it has. Right now, there is flag drag. So if you're taking a bomb or a flag, you will in fact go slower over time as the flag is, well, dragging behind you. So not the case with this guy. You grab the flag and keep the speed. You will not slow down except for your own mistakes. And it's 60% easier to pick up because your distance to grab is reduced. Then we go to light defense, a little bit different. Um, the only thing changing with the weapons here is that the phase rifle is turned around because that's your primary thing. Very important distinction is the presence of the impact nitron. Also a grenade, powerful knockback, low damage, forces a flag drop. This is one of the also controversial, but it's a real thing. So yeah, you hit someone with it, they will drop the flag even if they're dead or not. If an enemy heavy is holding the flag during a standoff, that's what you want to use. Currently only one charge on it, so it's hit or miss with that one. The rest is all the same. The perk, however, for the Sentinel is a little different. When the enemy is holding the objective, bomb or flag, gain 20% energy regeneration and deal extra damage to the flag carrier. Self damage is also reduced and increased self impulse, which means disc jumping, we don't call it rocket jumping, disc jumping or using the nitrons to gain speed is increased by 30%. This is the term called chasing, where you chase the flag carrier. So that is a dedicated role. If the flag is off the stand, you and a light can then catch up to them real well. Right, onto the medium. So there are a bit jack of all trades. Medium offense, you go and clear the stand. When the flag carrier is coming in, you're the guy distracting the offense, uh, the, the defense. I say distract because the important thing is they need to not be looking at the flag carrier. It's not your job to kill everyone on the defense because they'll respawn and everything. The timing is important here, right? So, and you have the tools for that. So you have the spin fuser, not the light spin fuser, just a heavier version of it. And the thumper, which is again, a heavier version of the bolt launcher, smaller projectile, faster, 
you know, some people like it. It's currently quite well favored. So, and then we have the grenade launcher. This is an important thing. The lights, the lights have the chain gun or a sniper. Medium has grenade launcher, which is a sustained weapon. You can shoot many little pellets, little uh, projectiles, again, to clear the stand of any mines or anything else like that. But you will give up a finisher weapon. You will give up either the chain gun or the Nova Colt, which in my opinion right now is a little better. You, It's a revolver. It doesn't have that a large capacity does more damage and nice to again finish people off uh, when you've hit them before right now the belt sticky grenade nice for area denial so people know that's going to explode there you stick it to, to one of the defenders um, but usually the ap grenade is nice so you can carpet bomb with the grenade launcher a defensive stand the packs the shield pack pretty self-explanatory makes you last a little longer and uh yeah uses energy for activation so once you've used it you're pretty committed to the ground so yeah the face pack is a little different you become immune for a bit and you can't shoot so this is good for getting out somewhere or just you know piling through the raider perk that this class has um so 20 percent increase to your throw power when throwing a bomb or a flag this is nice for when well things don't go the way you want them to on your team you can just grab the flag and just throw it as far as you can and hope somebody else picks it up that's important also during standoffs where you can throw it to your teammates and 25 percent bonus damage to base assets everybody's favorite playing the pve game taking down base um turrets and the radio the <laughs> now i'm saying radio station it started in comp and now it can't stop the sensor so basically taking out the mini map there you go medium defense again same loadout a little bit different in um the belt here an emp grenade which deals high damage to base installations low damage to players but they drain their energy if you can hit an uh, an incoming capper or a um an, an offense player you're gonna ruin their day but again the ap grenade just do, does damage usually better and they have the light turret it's a little useless right now you know but it does it, it it drains energy so if you can position it in an in an awful spot for a capper or something it could be interesting but your shield and your face pack are probably your bread and butter here they have the technician perk which means the repair tool is 50 percent more effective for the base turret's not that great for the generator and the sensor tower very important because that is your mini map so that's what can cue you in on what's coming in. Very important for the fans. And within 125 meters to your base, which is in Path of Exile terms nearby, I think, um, gain additional vertical trust and jet control. So you can juke a little more, which is great because there's going to be a lot of offense players coming at you. Heavy offense. HO. All right. So heavy spin fuser, heavy bolt launcher, self-explanatory. My favorite weapon on the heavy, the fusion mortar. Think long range artillery. You're probably not going to see this heavy offense guy a lot, but you will see the green ball of death he's throwing at you. But you have to choose between that and the storm slicer, which is the heavy chain gun. It's slower, more damage, um, a lot more sustain. And the gladiator, which is an area um, denial thing uh, great for clearing stands because it'll explode a couple of times so it'll definitely clear or at least deny an area no there is no team damage so the cappers can just go straight through that then the belts a frag grenade and the maglev disc the disc is basically a single spin fuser shot that you can throw so it's a straight line and then the frag grenade is just a regular grenade the packs heavy shield pack self-explanatory in the regen station very cool because it's um regens people around you as well so if you got a buddy with you you can actually heal some people there for longer sustained um outdoor activities and the doombringer perk health nuggets now restore an additional thousand health so heavies have double the health of, of lights a little bit more even than that and of course are much heavier and stuff because they are called heavies um health nuggets if you kill someone drops a nugget and it restores some health and ammo 
the heavies killing people on in close radius will of course be able to pick these up and just to sustain themselves again probably not going to see that if they they're coming to the stand you're probably in trouble it's not the idea that you can 1v1 this guy in a light it's a team game the kills don't matter it's when they happen and with these guys they happen often but of course again it's about disruption and getting that flag home these guys are heavy they stay where they are usually and take a while to get going heavy defense here we have what we like to call the hoff don't hassle the hoff the heavy on flag this is the guy that's standing there taking all the punishment and the loadout well it's identical to the heavy offense but the perk is much more important gain 40 percent increased mass yeah this guy ain't going anywhere he's staying home and he's <laughs> a juggernaut deal damage to enemies you collide with yeah body blocking hurts people so you literally your job is to take damage see that capper coming and just take him on the chest there while standing behind, oh, what is that? Within 20 meters of your base. This is close in Path of Exile terms. 15% um, damage resistance and passive health and ammo regeneration. Again, this guy isn't going anywhere. But the key thing is, why is the oh, this is overpowered? He's not, yeah, no. You don't want to kill the Hoff. You want to move him. Still difficult. But it needs to happen in order for that flag to go. Again, he's taking the full brunt of the offense. And he has to look out for cappers. Takes a special kind of person to play this. Then, finally, because that's the whole shebang, there is an important thing I will say as well. Which is... Inheritance. So, all the standard weapons, they... Because this is a game about going fast. If you can imagine a, a rocket that has a static speed and just goes in a straight line like the spin fuser when you're going fast you could be going faster than the projectile you shoot so in tribes there is a mechanic called inheritance which is basically momentum the faster you go the faster the weapon you shoot goes if you are going sideways the weapon projectile will also go sideways. This is a little weird, but it makes sense when you're chasing someone or you're going as fast as someone else and matching their speed, then you don't have to lead your weapon. It's a little taking used to, but in these tests, there is something wonderful. We have sliders. So in controls, there is projectile velocity inheritance. Better term is momentum. It just takes the momentum that you have. If you're slow, it's slow. And you can actually, there we go, adjust these. Speed fuser forward inheritance. 100% of your forward speed or whatever you want it to be. Lateral inheritance is the side to side. So if you're going how much of that side, you're going to need the lead. I put mine on 50%, a lot of people put it on 100. It's really the thing, the reason why it's a slider is it's because it's purely preference. You could put this to zero, but it is a very neat mechanic and a lot of roles are going to need it. The defenders, a little bit less, but the attackers and the midfielders and the chasers probably are going to want to do this, right? So there's a separate slider for spin fusers, honor fusers currently not in the game, and bolt launchers as well. I have done this thing here where I put my bolt launcher to zero because that means it'll go exactly to a static target. So they're better for static in that way. But that's preference. There you go. That's really it for this playtest of Tribes Rivals. That's the state of the game right now and the things to use. Thanks for watching. See you next time.